All right, so she has the right idea, but let's talk about something, okay? This rally is free and it is open to the public, so there should be no excuses from people saying, oh my goodness, I don't want to deal with the traffic, I don't want to deal with the mesh. On top of it all, we have our very own Zora Asbury, okay? She is joining us now live in studio to give us all the tips to avoid the clutter. And also, Zora, I hear that you have some parking tips for the people. That's right, Alyssa. Hey, Asia Wilson said it best, be there or be square. And with that being said, we can expect hundreds of people to hit the Las Vegas Strip today for the big parade. So between Las Vegas Boulevard, between Harmon and Flamingo, you're going to want to watch out for that north and southbound. And as Kalina and Justin have been mentioning, this parade is going to be a big deal. Alyssa did also mention this is going to be happening not too far outside of the Bellagio. And so some of the Strip Casino hotels like Bellagio, the Aria, Cosmo, you'll want to stay away from those areas unless you are coming to the parade. If you are driving around them, you'll want to avoid it and take maybe Dean Martin or Frank Sinatra or the 15 to get by. But hopefully you're there at the parade and we take a look here at Las Vegas Boulevard and Harmon and nice clear roads now. But This is going to be a much different scene here later today around 5 o'clock. So we'll keep our eyes posted. You'll notice lots of cones already lining Las Vegas Boulevard here at Flamingo as they do prepare for the big parade. So we'll keep our eyes on that. We do have a crash here. 15 at Range Road is the camera that we're looking at, but the crash really happened 15 at Lamb in the southbound direction. It is still there, but hopefully it does clear before you head out to work or to school to drop your kids off. But right now, traffic mostly looking nice and clear. When it comes to this parade, though, Kalina, I need to find out if somebody has reached out to Usher's people because <laughs> Asia Wilson said he needs to be there, too. Yeah, he does need to be there. I mean, she asked for it, so she should get it, right? She's a champ. I agree, I agree. Well, as Las Vegas does prepare for this party, one group of ladies is preparing to show their support for the history-making Las Vegas Aces. Yes, they are. From their nails down to their shoes, the drip and swag hey. is real. We're talking about the high rollers, and they are ready to show off their big moves today. At first, we were like, okay, are we performing for a game? And then when we saw them win, we we're like, oh my God, there's a parade. I'm excited at a 20, and I'm right. actually a Super Bowl champion, so I know the feeling and the excitement the city has for a champion. And the Las Vegas Aces official dance team say they have a very special performance set up that they've worked to perfection. And they'll be showing off their moves during the celebration. This is a your preview. <laughs> <laughs> also, we're talking about head coach Becky Hammond. She is going down in women's basketball history. In her first year with the Aces, she's accomplished quite a lot. I just snored it. That was gross. Did. <laughs> All right, she won the WNBA championship, the Commissioner's Cup. She earned Coach of the Year honors. She was also the All-Star Game head coach, and she finished with the number one overall Ooh. record. Wow. It was a long road to this moment for this former undrafted player. My journey's not by mistake. Um, every hard thing that I've gone through has built something in me that I've needed down the road. And even though it sucks in the moment to not be picked or to get hurt or whatever it might be, um, the hard stuff builds stuff in you that's necessary for life, and you'll be using it down the road. It may not feel like that in the moment. Um, but for me, you know, <clears throat> it's not really about proving other people wrong. It's proving myself right. I love that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hammond became the first head coach to win the championship in her debut season since the WNBA started in 1997. I also want you to check this out here. Las Vegas Aces <laughs> making the cover of Sports Illustrated. Look at your screen right now. This is showing the star Asia Wilson and head coach Becky Hammond with the text reading, Aced it. I love that. That's it's great. just another way this historic win is being highly. Look at that embrace. I know, right? So happy. Yes, and they deserve it too. Of course, with every celebration, fan gear is essential, and there are plenty of options to choose from. Yeah, fans say they're suiting up and getting ready to park. <laughs> you can find all the Aces merchandise at several locations across the valley. So Dick Sporting Goods is selling a wide variety of items from jerseys to t-shirts to lanyards. Also a pop-up shop will open up at the Finlay Toyota in Henderson. Uh, this is happening hours just before the actual parade. Pop-up shop will be open from 9 to 1 p.m. Just a couple hours from now. Another pop-up location will be over at Auto Nation Toyota. That is on Sahara. And that one will open from noon to 7 p.m. 
the entire city really celebrating the mm -hmm. Aces win. So take a look at this. This is La Concha, and it's the entrance to the Neon Museum will be lit up red to honor the Aces historic win. Of course, our coverage on the Aces Celebration Parade will continue throughout the day. We'll have live team coverage of the parade right here on 13 Action News. We will also have all of the latest updates on our website at ktnv.com slash Aces. And we want to take a live look